Hello, I'm Kirsty from Rhubarb Theatre and our friends from Birdhouse Theatre have asked us to create this very special story all about birds. But this is no ordinary story because as well as the usual activities, hidden within the film are five golden eggs. See if you can spot them. And you can download your very own bird identification sheet from Birdhouse's Facebook page so you can get bird spotting for yourself. Enjoy the film! It's light outside. A beautiful spring morning. I feel I should spring out of bed. Maybe for a walkie. Oh, I love it when it gets light early in the mornings. Makes me feel like singing. Mm. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I might open the window. Oh, what a Beautiful day. Woohoo! Wow! Golly gosh, that morning chorus is really loud. I guess it's not just me who likes to sing in the morning. Colourful bird sitting on the bird feeder. Maybe you can guess what it is by its song. Now you can see it. Do you know what it is? It's a goldfinch. He's very colourful. He looks like he's fallen in the paint pots. Now I know it's spring because the goldfinches are back. I wonder where they were in winter. I think we need someone really wise to tell us. Woohoo! Hello! Did I hear you wanted someone wise? Where do birds go in the winter? They migrate. As autumn turns to winter and the seasons change, many birds leave England to go somewhere warmer. When spring comes along and it starts to get warmer, the birds fly back. Now those geese are just leaving. Bye! They live in colder places and fly here for the winter. Thanks, Mr Owl. Gosh, those geese are really noisy. Wait a minute. It's my belly. Time for breakfast. Look, I'm not the only one having breakfast. Maybe you can guess what it is by its song. Now you can see it. Do you know what it is? It's a robin redbreast. Oh, she's gone. Ah, oh, no, she's been chased off by another fellow. I wonder if you can guess who this is. Maybe you can guess what it is by its song. Now you can see it. Do you know what it is? It's a wren! Woohoo! Hello again! Uh, do you know the wren was once known as the king of the birds? 
let me tell you. Many years ago, all the birds gathered together to choose who would be king of the birds. They decided to hold a contest. Whichever bird could fly the highest would be the winner. All the birds took off into the air. The small birds, ducks, crows, and many others soon tired. Only the strongest of the birds flew high into the sky. One eagle climbed higher and higher until the rest gave up and returned to earth. I am king of the birds, he thought smugly. As he was descending, he heard a small, bright voice above him calling, I am king, I am king. It was a little brown wren fluttering above him. She had quietly hidden among his feathers and ridden his back into the sky. The eagle was furious, but he was too tired to fly higher. When the wren landed, the small birds chirruped in joy and surprise. But the large birds were furious. You only won through trickery and cunning, and that's not fair, they complained. Eagle would have won through strength and brawn. Why is that better than cunning? Set another challenge and I will win once more, the wren replied. The large birds chattered. Oh, whichever bird can swoop the lowest will be the king of the birds. The birds began the new competition, diving down to glide along the ground. Wren saw a small mouse hole in the earth and flew into it. I am king! I am king! I am the lowest! The large birds were furious and decided that even if the wren was king of the birds, she would never rule them. They took turns, standing guard by the hole, waiting to catch the wren if she tried to climb out. Days passed, and wren remained in her hole. One night an owl was guarding, when the full moon distracted the owl. The wren quickly escaped from the hole and was free at last. Well, the little brown wren is still the king of the birds, but she is so afraid of the eagles and hawks that she stays hidden in hedges and bushes. All the small birds visit her for advice, as she is so clever and cunning. Thanks, Owl. Birds are amazing. I think I'm going to go on a walk and go and find some more. I'm going to need to get dressed first, though. over there. Listen to their song. Look at their plumes. Ah, this is an easy one. It's a blue tit. Do you see that? It's a chaffinch. Wow, a woodpecker. Look at him. That's a bullfinch. Wow. 
What's that? It can't be. It's a tawny owl. Ah, a black and white bird. I wonder if you'll know this one. It's a magpie. There are lots of old stories about magpies and a very famous poem. It goes like this. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, and seven for a secret ready to be told. There's another. Do you hear it cooing? Easy. It's a wood pigeon. But what's that? It sounds like another bird, but not quite. Let's hear. It's a starling. But starlings are really good at mimicking, a bit like a parrot. They can mimic other birds. They can even mimic human sounds like cars or lawnmowers. An easy one to finish off the walk. Are you ready? It's a blackbird, of course. You hear it most often after it's been raining. It loves to sing after the rain. We've seen lots of birds in the story today. Can you remember them all? If you went for a walk or just looked outside of your window, what kind of birds would you see? Do you know, listening to all that bird song makes me want to dance. Will you join me? I twist it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Here we go, look to look. Shake it out, baby. Here we go, look to lie. Bend over, let me see you shake your tail feather. Bend over, let me see you shake your tail feather. Come on and let me see you shake your tail feather. Come on and let me see you shake your tail feather. Woohoo! Happy tweeting!